All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship Qualifier, as we have game at number two in a series, as we're jumping into Petit Drogo going up against Liquid Snoot. Um, and this series is right before the semifinals, right? This is a quarterfinal game. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's jump into game two. Yeah. As we have spun down to the south, it's our red Protoss. It is Petit Drogo. And up to the north, leading 1-0 currently, it is Liquid Snoot. P. Diddy Drogo. P. Diddy. Yeah, so the winner of this plays Fantasy for a qualification spot to play at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship. Uh -huh. Snoot 1-0 up. I think a lot of people would want to see Snoot versus Fantasy. No offense to P. Diddy Drogo. But... To be fair, I mean, let's let's give a little. We we always talk about Snoot. <coughs> let's give a little bit of uh, credit to our French friend, um, who has gone through Strelok, Huck, Major, and Hyun on wow. his way to playing Snoot. That's pretty sick. So very very impressive. He also played in Challenger League. Yes, he did. Um, it was against who was it against? Was it against Bunny? I think. It, uh, was it Bunny? I think so. I think he got Stomperoonied. Did he get Stomperoonied? To go. I with did watch the game. The philosopher Nathanius. Let's have a quick look. Yes, you're correct. 3 0 versus Bunny. Um, yeah, so very impressive run so far, but now he's kind of hit this brick wall, which is Snoot. Ah, Gold base. So Snoot has done this before, um, and not, not just take the gold base, he's been kind of rushed into taking the gold base. And it produces weird games because, yes, he could be very aggressive very early on with this, but he also could just play a three hatch game. Mm -hmm. or play um, a hatchery first spawning pool and use this for an expansion later. Minimal drone, because you can have like 45, 50 drones, but it feels like 60, 65 yeah. because you're on yeah. the gold. And then you can rush from this base, create spread from there and push with like a Ling Hydra play. That's what he's done before in the past. Yeah. I don't know the extent of this gold base though and, and how much he'll use it and how and how fast he'll be aggressively. And overall, kind of scary here for Petit Drogo because he's not going to check it's very rare you check over there as a Protoss when this comes out. Unless you're going to go for some kind of Stargate play uh, and you're rallying like a, an Oracle cheekily yeah. over there or something like that. It's rare you actually go over in that direction. So Snoot's taking both golds. Yeah. It, it, this is exactly how he played when I cast his games against someone with Todd. Uh, he got cannon rushed oh. and he took both these. It was Daisy. Ah, okay. He took both gold bases after being cannon rush and still won the game. It was unbelievable. It was like crazy. Oh, I think I remember that actually. Um, so, uh, by the looks of it, it is going to be very similar to what I said before. He's going to use Zergling speed and just kind of Zergling roach if need be if a super fast attack comes in. But if not, he'll play like a Zergling roach or up to Hydralis push down mm -hmm. into the Protoss third from that gold base. Well, this link's going to check everywhere on this right hand side. And for now, Petit Jogo's going to be like. He must know, actually, golds have been taken. Yeah, After checking yeah. both of these locations, he must know. Yeah. There's he, no other solution. He'll probably check both golds. Because he'll see one that's really late, and he'll be like, huh, that's really late. And then he'll check the other one. Yeah. But he's already building a sentry very early on, because he's a little bit worried, obviously. <coughs> but the I thing, would be, too. Yeah, the thing is now, as a Protoss, how do you really deal with this? <laughs> They've already been yeah. taken. There's a queen on that goal base. He could easily throw down a spine if he really wants, uh, aside from the extended link production that he would have because he's already gaining more minerals anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure what the correct response is to this. It's tough, really tough. Really uh, not sure. And it's it's really only this map that gives you these kinds of situations at well, the moment. Let's just think about it for a second then. Um, the weaknesses of, of Snoot's build currently, Ev all the bases are very far away from each other. Reinforcements yes. are gonna be very far away from each other. So he could go for some very swift, like, 5-6 game mm -hmm. to one of the locations, preferably the goal that's to closest to him. Oh, really good micro there by Snoot. Uh, oh, Bailey doesn't get that. He was close. He was close. Is this drone on the way to try and hunt it down and kill it? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> that would be so funny. But he's taking a fast third <laughs> against it, which I think is very dangerous. I think this is... Ignoring it can be a problem because if Snoop picks up on this fast third, then this becomes a problem because a lot of Lang Roach can flood this and I don't think it's holdable. Yeah, I, I think you're it, totally right. It depends on, well, Snoop's going to see it, I think. 
right? With well, Zerglings. Sees a drone probe go down there, of course. So yeah, Zergling speed is almost done and the Roach Warren's finished here. So if Snoot has two options. You flood this with Zerglings and Roaches and hope to break it, or you just press the layer button and then go up towards Roach Speed or Hydralisks. Whichever way. And he's chosen uh, the layer, so he's going to drone up. And he will probably start spreading creep from his third soon. Or his uh, gold base close to Pete Diddy Drogo. Well, at least uh, Drogo's going to have a little bit of a wall set up at that third base. Cannon's on the way as well. Extra hatchery, macro hatch, no less here for Snoot has been taken. So with these two gold bases such as saturated as they are, he is going to have so much production. This is actually going to get very scary. Look, he's already up to like 2,100, 2,200 income yeah. uh, per minute here on the minerals. That's ridiculous, eight minutes. Actually ridiculous. Yeah, this is a little scary. All right, well. I, I don't know how he's going to be able to deal with uh, this next part of the game. Yeah. I mean, force field's going to be crucial. Um, right now, he has hardly any units. And it's only roaches being made currently. Roach speed should start then if he's going to focus on roaches alone. Unless he throws the Hydro Stem very, sh very uh, shortly down. <laughs> well, he's now just seen the second gold and... Oh, I don't think he realized, did he? No. Okay. I thought he did. I uh, Clearly not, looking at that. The way the reaction there, yeah. now Snooter has got to feel so in the driving seat. It's, um, I think he probably did it before anyway. Yeah. But this is going to be so many units. And Petit Drogo has severely underestimated this situation, I think. He's got a lot of sentries, but no firepower. He's got a really good economy now. Very good economy. But he needs the firepower. He just, yeah, he has to just defend against any types of uh, plays now coming out from Snoot. Funny that Snoot's got no creep spread, and he's already on four hatcheries with yeah. a fifth hatchery coming in. Fourth base, fifth hatchery. Once Roach Speed finishes up, then ugh, this is going to be really, really ugly. That's why five extra gateways are going down for now for Drogo. He, he knows he absolutely has to have units out. He sees all of these Roaches in the middle of the map, and he's going, like, God damn it. How am I going to be able to deal with this? Well, he's adding on a lot of gateways and immortals, and hopefully defend with his uh, force fills plus two, hopefully kicking in and blink. He's got two cannons tucked in nicely. Remember, he's got photon overcharge as well. He's got a very narrow area to force fill because he's made two pylons next to that ramp. And he sees the roaches. He knows an attack is coming. He's got a force field like he's never force filled before. It's not as many roaches as I was expecting him to go with. There's uh, still a lot more reinforcements on the way. Catches some of the reinforcements on the right hand side here. Get some of the pylons, though, to some of these roaches. Ah, he's going out in the open. Ooh, got to be very careful. Extra force fields lay down. They're as good as he possibly could, but on this third base that is so open, he has to expend a huge amount of force fields for just one wave of attack yeah, alone. I, yeah, he walks in three stalkers now. I think, I don't know, three sentries is probably a bad idea, actually, now I come to think of it. Just build a lot of units. The Immortal's out there. Snoot is backed off, and he holds. Yeah. He, he holds. And he didn't lose that many sentries either in that at all. So... But there's now an extra 50 lings flooding along with this. Yeah, and there's no force fields left, really. Okay, there's maybe, yeah. maybe I don't know, four or five. Yeah, a few, a few. If he just needs that plus two complete, that will help a lot. Just 15 seconds. Oop, he's going out pretty far. He, uh, actually Whoa. blinks aggressively into this. That's really ambitious. A lot of the army is going to take massive, massive damage. Petit Drogo, what is going on? Well, that was just a mistake. Oh, and he gets surrounded. Oh, it's a massacre. Oh, ah. Too eager. Way too eager. Even Jones coming in for the fight. Well, mate, why not? Why not, mate? Well, and that was game. Yeah. Very Jumped into Snoot's army, and the game ends just like that. And that is going to be a 2 0. Remember, it's it's the elimination match. It's already 1 0 up despite us casting the first game. Yeah. Uh, and now, with Snoop being able to get as much damage as he did just then. He's getting Festers on the way. He's got the Hive on the way. And if he advances on, then he puts himself in a situation where he has two shots at qualifying for what the World Championship. That's pretty yeah, big. That's that, a big deal. That is big. He'd, he'd potentially be the only non-Korean there. Uh, come to think of it, yeah, maybe Bunny can join. Maybe. And that would be it. Force. They're lucky the infestors weren't there at the same time. Otherwise, he could have locked that down and kept it on the low ground when they positioned themselves strategically to blink up to the high ground. 
But now this third base is going to be difficult. Yeah, and he comes down that ramp, he gets fungled. Okay, well, maybe not. I'm Infested Terrans to block it off for a while. Evil is a good option. He blinks down onto the low ground with some of these and actually picks up a few Infested kills. Uh, the Roach is not really doing as much as I was expecting them to in the third base. But he's getting uh, not many worker kills either. Really needs to go to town on that. Stalker's trying to hold their own here, but it's just units everywhere for Snoo. Yeah, he's got good upgrades on them as well. 1-1 one, one on the Roaches, and we even have plus one melee on the Lings as well. You're right, so uh, all the Stalkers eventually die off, and that's it. Never practice versus that. No surprise. GG, Snoo takes the series 2-0 and advances onto the semi-final. Yeah, good stuff. <coughs> Yeah, that was uh, pretty convincing, that. So, yeah, Snoot, as you said, two games away, or two games comfort, one yeah. game away. A cushion. Um, from qualifying to play the World Championship. And he always seems to do very well in the Intel Stream Masters qualifiers. He's doing it yet again. But the next match he's going to play is going to be against Fantasy. And that is not going to be easy. Fantasy does not have latency issues. He is in Europe currently. Uh, his team, Dead Pixels, flew him over to make sure he can play in ideal conditions, mm -hmm. and he hasn't dropped a single map today so far. Yeah, he's looking he's looking on form. He's looking on point. I think that series is going to be next? Uh, no, I think there's one before that. Ah, okay. I okay. think uh, Cure Bunny is the next series. All right. So join us after the break, guys. We're here at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship Qualifiers when we have some more awesome StarCraft on the way.